Three that hurt. You got to see at least seven in there. There's two that look really good, like we should probably go take a closer look at. Yeah, I think you're right. So yesterday morning, we got out there around seven o'clock. We spotted a herd of about seven animals. You know, you can tell, you get out of the truck and I just start to think this might be the one that we're going after. You, you get a little more jump in your step and you start walking a little faster and then that excitement level and that adrenaline, and it's sort of like a, a switch flips and the intensity of the hunt kind of goes up a couple of notches. I'm going to be up against those rocks. I'm going to drop my binoculars here. Yeah. We got within about 300 yards in a rock pile. They were covered up by some brush. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I see two of them behind the bush there. There's a couple others behind that bush on the right. You did how far is that? I'm at 200 right now. Put it between 50 and 300. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put 300. Toughened by evolving in Africa, the Oryx needs to be hit in the right place, in the heart-lung area. And even then, there's no guarantee it'll drop. We just had perfect position. We were just wasting. They had no idea we were there. I'm looking through the scope, and, and then he said, okay, here's our Oryx. It just turned broadside, and I thought I had the perfect shot. I'm lurched up. I thought it was going to drop right there. And these things are like tanks. And it went over the hill and. Good shot. Good shot. Was it a good hit? It's a good hit. This tough animal. We got collected ourselves. We we're pretty confident that we were going to find it on the other side of the hill, probably piled up. And 